Hi, I'm Miranda. And I'm Mark. And this is our mate to home, Indy. Okay, so what we have is a, the Aldis Accordo 125 Majestic. Right, she was born in 2017. <laughs> she has um, uh, 160 brake horsepower. Yeah, which is quite powerful um, for this vehicle. We we'll, we'll go along quite quick, don't we? It's a Peugeot Boxer uh, frame and body and, and drivetrain. So, right, let me show you around. Hand a second. This way. So, we haven't used it, but this is the outdoor shower point. You can wash off your sand off your shoes and your boots and all that sort of thing, as well as having a shower. So that's could be quite useful, but we haven't used it yet. So mm. this is where we put our fresh water. This is where we uh, have, uh, this is the, the toilet, cassette toilet, which everyone will be familiar with that. Smelly stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is our, uh, that's where the, the fresh water comes out. Yeah? Yeah. And then this is how you drain, this is the uh, the grey waste. Yeah? Which trickles out, doesn't it? Yeah, we could do we with a larger... Larger hose on that. Yeah. yeah. So this is the gas storage area. So that's uh, two seven litre bottles there, or seven kilo bottles rather. And we've got cables in there as well. And and there's the hose pipes there. Okay, so we can, yeah. you know, I think these are eight kilo bottles to be fair. So oh, there's, there's, yeah, there's plenty of room in there. We've also got the little Kadak. Yeah, we've got our Kadak gas bottles. In there, in there. And there's, there's vents at the bottom that you need to keep free. So you can't put anything more in there because yeah. air, you know, gas needs to escape through the vents. So that's that. Okay, so this is our Fiamma bike rack. Okay, we had that fitted. Uh, for us. It's quite high, you know, but we have to add it high because of the uh, rear hatch to the cargo area. Yeah, this is um, our garage. Yeah, we'll show you that in a sec. So this is for two bikes, okay, but you can adapt it to put three, but two is all we are likely to take. Look at the rear view camera up oh, there, yeah. which is quite handy um, when you haven't got your bikes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is the, uh, the, the cargo if you like the garage we call it a garage don't we yeah we do and we've got all our stuff in here um <laughs> it's not very organized at the minute to be fair but we've got you know our ramps and our kadak and and uh, our silver screens and our camp chairs and, and whatnot and i think yeah, you know we've got a hatch here um, which has got the consumer panel in for the electricity in there and yeah. uh, we'll probably have a better um, view from the inside so let's go, go on the inside let's go on the inside and we can talk about it from the inside. okay hi again right so this is the uh the cargo bay the garage space if you have a look i think uh, okay. the bed goes, goes, goes up, up like that yeah okay and hooks back and then you've got all this space, all this space. and as well as that this can come out as well not that we've ever had a need to take it out but both these bits of wood can slide out so you've got space all the way through, um, but we've never had the need to do that. No. Um, and here we've got a couple of drawers. There's a drawer there, I'll put some bits in, some tools and things that I don't really need to get to very often. So good, good bit of space. And we've also got, like I said, we've also got another one, another locker there, if you like, and that's where the consumer, let's just consumer panel is. Yeah, so, so we don't access it from this way do we very often no because the bed's down and made up down. permanently which saves time because yeah we sometimes we've got like bottles of water and stuff and now we drag them through yeah and 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 toilet roll, and toilet roll. Okay, so so here we've got the leisure battery compartment okay so there's a 110 amp leisure battery mm -hmm. okay and that is fed by the uh, it's fed by the solar panel. We've got 110 uh, watt uh, solar, solar panel, panel. Up on, on the roof. On the roof, yeah. Up Fact on the roof. That was factory fitted. Um, and also, this is where our hookup is. Yeah. Okay. You're familiar with that. So yeah, yeah that works very well. And the battery's strong. We have no issue with it. And off grid, you know, it keeps us going. Or USB. Couple ports. of days, we haven't had any issues, have we? No. That we, and the gas. And we know we don't use a lot of electric. To be fair, just spotlights at night to read don't we? we can't use the microwave off the battery no, can we no 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 it has to be plugged in us. it won't let us because it yeah. draws too much power but yeah, we've got the gas vents for the fridge we've got the awning oh yeah we've got a dometic, dometic awning. awning we've got the awning light 
And to be fair, we've not actually used it that much, have we? No. no. So she's so, good, isn't she? I think, was it, is it, what's the payload? 600 and something kilos? 600 kilo payload? So her maximum weight is 3.3 tonne. Yeah. Payload is 612 kilos or something like that, which we, well, it's, it's ample for two people, right? we think, as long as we're sensible. Yeah, we've tried to keep everything we've bought for her yeah. lightweight, haven't we? Yeah. So it's a diesel vehicle and it takes the ad blue. Yeah, so yeah. you put your ad blue in there. Yeah, and your diesel in there. And I think it's got a, I think it's got a 90 litre, 90 litre tank. But with the price of diesel right now, that's, it costs a lot of money to fill her up. I, I was just, it's been about 150, 60 quid to fill her up right now mm. with the price of diesel. So, You're expensive yeah, indeed. Yeah, very expensive. The height. Is 2.725 meters. Uh, the width, including the the wing mirrors, is 2.6 meters. Yeah. Yeah. And the overall length without the bike rack is 5.99 meters. So she's below six meters, yeah. which is what we wanted. What we wanted. Yeah. She's a little, isn't she? Yeah. Compact. And with the 160 brake horsepower motor, she uh, she goes really really well. Because we our drive is on a bit of a slope, so we didn't want a big overhang, did yeah, we? That's right. So that works really well. Yeah. So there you are. There cool. She is. Lovely little home on wheels. So today, Indy is going to have a really good clean, ready for us to go away next week to Europe on our first trip abroad in her. So excited! So excited! <laughs> This is our bedroom area at the end of our motorhome. It's a fixed bed, but not a fixed bed. So it comes up on these metal frames, clips in up here and over the other side, does the same on this side. So when we just travel, we just usually keep it down. And it stays like that. Quite a nice big bed. Let's get the pillow out there. We've got an extra mattress, got a panda mattress that goes on top. So I'm going to make that up now, ready for when we go away next week. done. Mark's pillow's not there yet because he has his pillows from home and we've got extra blankets, nice thick blanket there. We only actually put the quilt cover on at the minute because we're going to use our thin duvet that's on our home bed and um, I think it's actually going to be quite hot where we're going so we might end up just having that but usually we've got a really thick tentog one to keep us nice and cosy. I love our little bedroom area. And it's really special because we've got a picture of our baby, our baby buffer there. So the little bedroom area has got five cupboards, one, two, three, four, five, and a big skylight, which is going to be great when we go away next week because, I, you know, like I said, I think it's going to be really, really hot. So I think we'll be leaving the skylights open and we'll be putting the... Um, Nice things over and make them while we sleep. And also we've got a little window. Come on, I'll show you a little window. This is our towel cupboard. That's where all our towels go. We've got the um, like body rag towels, which are like almost like microfiber ones, but a bit thicker. So they're quite nice. We'll use them. A couple of like beachy towels, spare towels. This is my one one cupboard i get one cupboard so all the bits and bobs we store in there usually just put my um running and cycling and walking kit in here it's 
Mark's cupboard. Mark's cupboard. And this is kind of Mark's cupboard, but we can put stuff in here, but he has his like drinks bottle and puts his iPad and stuff up there at night time. Yeah, so that's our little bedroom area. So this is our kitchen area. Hopefully you can see, see it all okay. Got a microwave, more photos of our baby girl. And we've got a cupboard here. So that's got all our plates and our mugs, juice, tea towels, we've got cups up there. Tea towels shoved everywhere to stop things rattling as we drive along. We've got plugs, this is where all the light switches are. Plugs, USB ports, we've got a nice mirror, a mirror window. And then that's the sink, and our draining board travels in there. And then this is our hob. So we've got three gas hobs, and we've got an electric one for when we're on a hookup. So that's quite good. And then this is our oven. So we have a gas oven and a grill as well. So grill oven. So we use that. So I'll cut the drawer. And this is where we keep our one casserole kind of pot that we do most things in, our kettle. We've also got an extra saucepan there for like soup and stuff. And then back there somewhere is our ridge monkey. Another cupboard here. And that's got pans in it. That's where we keep the very liquid and tissues and cling film and bags and yeah, lots of bits and bobs in there. And our fridge. So we're giving that a good clean today. So it's got a little freezer compartment. Um, yeah, it works off the, the battery and the gas and electric hookup. So yeah, and then we've got like an extra bit here. So that's our little kitchen. So at the end of our kitchen, for our little bedroom, we have a wardrobe. It's a full length wardrobe. And we actually quite like it like that. We haven't put, I know lots of people put shelves in there, so we've not done that. Quite like to have some stuff hanging up. But I bought one of these like, shoe holder things and we just roll our clothes up and stick them in and then at the bottom we've got our shoes and then we've got space for a few bits down there as well so that's the wardrobe you're gonna laugh at me but we have a bathroom and it's actually one of my favorite things because <laughs> it has a toilet so every time we pull up somewhere I don't have to worry about trying to find a toilet because we have one in our van got a nice nice fancy sink toilet Cupboard, then just little toiletries in there. And it's got shower as well if we're in need of a shower when we're not on her couple on a campsite that's got um, facilities. So that's really good. This is our dining room area. Um, another thing that I really wanted when we chose the motor home was two extra travel seats and somewhere where if I'm lying in bed in the morning and don't want to get out, Mark's got somewhere where he can go and sit and have a cup of coffee, etc, etc. So yeah, so that's our little dining room. It does change into like a third bed, but for a very, very small person or a child, but we don't think we're ever going to use that. So there's a couple more cupboards. That's got like the first aid kit in it and Mark's gadgets and some candles. And then this is where we store most of our food. There's not very much in there, isn't it? Cover can things, some coffee. But yeah, we, that's, that's mainly where we put the food. So yeah, and then obviously the cabin chairs both turn around as well. Now it's time to give the cab area a clean. Pulled the mat out. It's over there, I've got to hoover it in a minute. But yeah, gonna give it a wash first. So we can start putting our clothes in now. Um, I think we're away 16 nights. 
and then the night on the ferry. So um, not really sure what to pack, but lots of shorts. But then we've got all our cycling kit and all our walking and running kit as well. Um, so I'm going to try and get as much sort of stuff hanging. Let's get all this stuff in here. I'm not sure he wants me to see what's in this envelope, but it's our wedding anniversary and my birthday when we go away, so I'm not going to look in it. wardrobe all packed. I do like a little bit of hanging space because I do like to wear a long dress occasionally. So t-shirts, shorts, jeans, slippers, flip-flops, shoes, even a handbag. And still more room for other stuff. So we really like our wardrobe don't we? Yeah. We do. Cool. I think we're just about getting there. Getting our van already. 